Hey there, hope you're having a good night. 11 Valley teams reaching the second round of the playoffs. Only one getting to play here at home. The Los Fresnos Falcons taking on San Antonio Brennan. The Bears beat the Falcons at 63 to 10 last year in the playoffs. To Leo Aguilar Memorial Stadium, we go. Here come the Falcons looking for some revenge. First quarter, Brennan on the move. Bears go into the ground game. Check out Falcon DB. Jaden Gonzalez flying to the backfield and bring down the running back. Let's go to the second quarter. Brennan up 14 at nothing. A Bear QB, Ashton Dubose, fakes out a Falcon. Decides to take off running. He cuts it back to the middle. Bumps into his own guy, but no worries. Dubose rumbles into the end zone for the score. Brennan up a 21 at nothing. Los Fresnos down, but not out. Falcons in Bear territory. Junior QB, Miguel Ortiz, rolling to his right. Decides to go back the other way. Ortiz moving the chains, picking up the first down. Falcons inside the 10-yard line a couple of plays later. He's going to fake the handoff and dive in for the score. Los Fresnos on the board, but Brennan goes on to win 42-7. to San Benito playing a neutral site game. The Greyhounds going against a San Antonio Taft in Corpus Christi. Both teams had blowout wins in round one. To the Coastal Bend, we go 13-13 ball game at halftime. Fabian Garcia in the second half taking the handoff for San Benito. Sheds a few tacklers and picks up a huge gain for the Greyhounds. San Benito deciding to go for it on fourth and a goal. The run pass option works to perfection. Aaron Corona hooks up with Rodney Rodriguez for the score. Greyhounds take the lead. Ensuing a kickoff, the Raiders a bobble the kick. It looks like they recover it, but they would fumble it once again. And the Greyhounds hop all over that football momentum on San Benito's side to start the second half. Later on, a field goal by Jonathan Juarez puts up San Benito by nine. The Greyhounds scored 25 points in the second half. San Benito wins 38 to 19.